piece that we've done before was like this. So this is my daughter's this well is worn. <laughs> well worn. So we, you can kind of see um, that this was very stretchy and it was like a ribbed kind of knit, mm. more like our bodysuits. Yeah. And so when this kind of merino gets a hole in it, um, it ladders. And I know a lot of you have had that issue with your onesies because yeah. I know when I got out all my old ones that I gave away in the VIP group that was like six years worth of Eddie's fleece <laughs> onesies, they do, they only need to get a small hole from something like a zip catching, um, from a moth hole, from um, wear and tear on yeah. the knee, or some of these points where there was just like extra stress. And so it was just pulling on them too tight. Any little hole they could ladder and really just get the hole, unless the holes were repaired, they would get out of hand very quickly. Um, and so when Amanda was putting on her geek hat <laughs> and working with, um, with Ali from Baboo, also has helped us, and you'll find that she is using um, the same fleece fabric for her range. She's got beautiful hoodies and more mm, kind of track day suits. wear, tracksuit, yeah. outer wear day wear garments whereas our ones are more sleep wear garments but we've worked the three of us um, over the last year to perfect not that I've done any of the technical <laughs> stuff I just have strong opinions because my kids have loved these garments so much but we've really looked at how to have it feel like this but yeah. not wear yeah. like this because yeah. the, that laddering mm. from even a tiny hole just means that your beautiful investment yeah. piece um, it didn't take much to get a big hole in it yeah. which as you know, we want to want our garments to last. When you spend a hundred dollars or something on a garment, we want you to be able to use it and hand it down, and hand it down, grow out of it, and then hand it down. And so that was kind of for us um, coming up with the new fleece fabric. We went through all the kinds of things, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Of what would make yeah. it. Last Lots better. of development that went into the new fabric. Which um, in the year of COVID, I oh, think, is like normally yeah. um, Ellie or Amanda or together, they could just go to China and go to the factories yeah. and talk to the people and see the machines. and But to do all of that by video and conversations, yeah. and Ellie practically needs a desk here because she comes so often yeah, exactly. with samples and yeah. have a chat. So, um, so let's just sort of talk to so kind of stretch-wise. I think this one actually, that, that's a prototype, that's actually a little bit stretchier, isn't it? Grab one of these ones, maybe. Okay. So the new fleece will behave much more like sweatshirt, yes. but it does have the elastane component. Yep. Um, with making the onesie, you know, we know that it's got to go length, we need some stretch lengthwise, but we also need length round bottoms and toddle tums. Um, and just general, general all round comfiness. So we want to show them the body stretch. Oh, yeah, body stretch over here. <laughs> so I guess the main difference is being the construction difference. So a difference. The the old fleece is definitely more stretchy. There's there's no no way about it. It's more stretchy. But like you've covered off and like you've said, the knit in it is what also makes the holes. Yep. So how can we create something that's just as beautiful um, but more durable? So yep. we've it's changed to. Um, a, a terry construction, which is basically um, flatter, closer together, um, and just not as not as stretchy. It's a much tighter knit, isn't it? So it's, yeah. it it does feel and look like a sweatshirt, yeah. but it's made from merino. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's merino, and then it's it's brushed just the same on the other side, on the inside, so um, so that it's nice and warm and yeah. fluffy and fleecy, and. Due to the construction as well, we're, le we're likely to lose less fluff over time just because it's going to hold its own. Um, because it's tighter, yep. there's more there, yep. so it's just going to stay. Whereas with this, over time, you know, we were getting feedback of thinning in areas bare and patches. Yeah, sort of bare patches where there were areas of wear. Um, yeah, where the fluff so, had kind yeah. of worn off over time. Yeah. And so that also, um, part of that durability and the, you know, a result of knitting it much tighter, yeah. this is 360 grams mm -hmm. of merino um, per square, 360 grams yeah, per square meter yeah, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. This was 360 and this was 280, so yeah. it's quite a bit chunkier mm -hmm. because it's knitted so much tighter together. Yeah. And we did add the elastane to give it good stretch because yeah. just if it was 100% merino knitted in this way for yeah. durability and extra warmth. It just around the knees mm -hmm. and the you know over the nappies or elbows and things. Yeah. We, all the testing we did with the 100% merino yeah. 
fabric knitted like this, it yeah. just didn't work. And so yeah. the factory have worked for probably the last six months yeah. on different yeah. different versions, different kind of compositions to get it yeah. as close to this as possible in yeah. feel without it losing its shape. Yes. Because you know from cotton t-shirts with elastane, they keep their shape so much better. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, so a lot of science yeah. and a lot of um, hours have gone yeah. into the new construction, <laughs> yeah, and, and we hope you love it.